the unusual. Colleen Crime Stoppers Honor, the story at six. This is the $100,000 Jeopardy Tournament of Champions. Now entering the studio are three of last year's champions. A radio talk show host from Santa Cruz, California, Eric Sheck, whose cash winnings last season totaled $21,499. A writer from Venice, California, Harvey Becker whose previous cash winnings total $55,400. And an opera singer from New York City, New York, Gary Giardina, who won $32,330 last year. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, folks. Welcome once again to our Tournament of Champions, a series in which we are featuring the best and the brightest players from last season. We have just passed the midway point. Once again, we have two four-day champions in Harvey and Eric going against a five-time champion in Gary Nardino. And I want to point out that so far this week, we have had three semifinalists qualify. All three of them have been five-time champions. We'll find out what happens today as we go to work now in this first round of this quarterfinal march. Dollar figures are on the board, and here are the categories the players are going to be dealing with. Agriculture, right next to that, game shows, followed by starts with the letter H, fictional characters, Roman Empire, and finally, have a cigar. And Gary Giardina is going to make the first selection. Off you go. Starts with H, please, for 100. Top of the category. Good pancakes will not only sell like these, they are these. Gary? What are hotcakes? Right. Starts with H for 200. Polygamous potentates place their pretty odalisks in these secluded hideaways. Harvey. What are harems? Right. Starts with H for 300. A covered two-wheeled carriage, whether it's good looking or not. Gary. What is a handsome? Right. Starts with H for 400. Only U.S. president whose first and last names fit this category. Gary. Who is Herbert Hoover? That is correct. Starts with H for 500. Last clue in the column. Weapon used to fire projectiles in a high arc to reach targets hidden from view. Eric. What is a howitzer? Howitzer is good for $500. That puts you in second place and gives you command of the board. Where to now? Roman Empire 100, please. Top of that one. An entire Astrodome baseball crowd of 45,000 could be seated in this four-story Roman arena. Gary. What is the Colosseum? You are right. Agriculture for 100. Start off that category with this clue. In 1986, during the week before this, Egg sales went up nearly 50% from the weekly average. Gary. What is Easter? That's right. Agriculture for 200. It wasn't until about 1890 that this pest invaded the U.S. and ruined cotton crops. Gary again. What is the boll weevil? You're right. Agriculture for 300. Asian country second only to the U.S. in corn production. Harvey. What is China? China is good for 300. Agriculture for 400. Season in which winter barley is harvested. Eric. What is spring? No. Correct response is, what is the following summer? Back to you, Harvey, for the selection. Uh, agriculture for 500. Last clue in that column. Dry farming, growing without irrigation on semi-arid land, gained first wide use in this beehive state. Gary. What is Utah? Utah is good for $500 more. Um, game shows for 100, please. All righty. Elaine Joyce is matching up bachelors and bachelorettes as the new host of this Chuck Barris game. Gary. What is the dating game? The dating game is right. Game shows for 200. Host of NOVA's annual national science test. Gary. Who's Art Fleming? That is right. And that gives you $200 more, takes you to an even 2,000, and it takes us to our first commercial break in this quarterfinal match. We'll be back to chat with the players and continue with the competition following this. <laughs> I'm Tom Brokaw. Tonight on NBC Nightly News, President Reagan prepares to address the nation on his secret dealings with the Iranians. What are the prospects now that the other American hostages will be released? What is the reaction on Capitol Hill among our allies? Also, former hostage David Jacobson talks about his captivity and freedom 
And Dennis Murphy returns to Columbia, where one year ago that volcanic mudslide took more than 20,000 lives. Tonight on NBC Nightly News. Jay-Z Shoes is going out of business. Save 30 to 70% on current ladies' famous brand shoes. Naturalizers and Magnesians, values to $56, now $24.90. Pinaljos were $56, now $29.90. Life Stride, values to $38, now $20.90. A group of soft spots, values to $47, now $20. Auditions, values to $47, now $24.90. Special group of shoes from $5 to $20. Many hard-to-find sizes. Jay-Z Shoes, Farragate Center on Bosque Boulevard, Waco. That cool, refreshing feeling of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum Puts a sparkle in your eye, a spring in your step And makes things lots of... Picture yourself in a gown that glitters, in a dress that sparkles as you enter the room, in fashions that will make you the prettiest princess at the ball. You'll find these lovely After Five creations at a wonderful little shop tucked away in downtown Copper's Cove. Lee's Dress Shop, a 35-year fashion tradition in Central Texas. Lee's has a variety of fashions for you, but it's our After Five wear that's dazzling these days. So if the holidays hold special parties and midnight dancing for you, then do come quickly to Lee's, 209 South Main, Copper's Cove. Cove. We'll continue with this quarterfinal match in just a few moments. Right now, let's spend uh, some time with our players. First of all, a four-day champion from Santa Cruz, California, Eric Sheck. Eric, since your last visit with us, what's happened to you? Well, my life really hasn't changed too much. I'm doing a two-hour talk show every day instead of one. That's the main change. Oh, so you've doubled your time on the air. That's pretty good yeah. going. Have you been practicing for this tournament? Uh, not at all. Just trying to get more sleep. Oh, okay. That may come in uh, very handy. The man next to you, Harvey Becker, won $55,400. When we introduced you on the program last year, you were a lawyer hoping to devote more time to a writing career. Has it happened? Well, it has happened. Now, I, last year I was an attorney turned writer. This year I'm just a writer. Just a writer. Just a writer. Okay. <clears throat> no more attorneys. All right. And uh, has anything good happened to you in the writing career? Have you sold anything? Close to it, yeah. Close to it. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck to you there and on our show. You've got $500. The uh, man with 2,000 and the lead so far is Gary Giardina, a five-time champion who won 32,000 last year on the program. But something even more exciting than that has happened to you recently. Tell the folks. Yes, indeed. About uh, eight days ago, uh, my wife had a little baby girl, Tori, and uh, she's a delight. Okay. Is that your first one? Our first. Oh, congratulations. All right, on that happy note, let's continue with this first round. You're in control of the board, Gary. You make the next selection for us. All right, let's continue with game shows for 300, please. The middle of the board. The point value of the bonus question on the newlywed game. This will be very cruel of me, but I'm glad you didn't know that. <laughs> it shows you're not watching that program. It's 25, by the way, which indicates that I watch it. <laughs> Gary, select again. Let's go to Have a Cigar for 100, please. Have a Cigar. All right. Late 19th century cigar stores typically had one of these standing outside. Gary? What is a wooden Indian? Correct. Have a Cigar for 200. It said white owls costing seven cents each in 1918 led Vice President Thomas Marshall to tell the U.S. Senate this. Harvey. What is what this country needs is a good five cent cigar. You got it absolutely right. Uh, go back to game shows for 400. Show which played its bonus round on a giant pinball game. I was a contestant on that one. It was called the Magnificent Marble Machine. Machine. Harvey, back to you for a game selection. Game shows for 500. Last clue in the column. TV's $64,000 question was based on this radio show whose name gave players this choice. Choice was take it or leave it. Harvey? Select again, please. Fictional characters for 100. Starting it off with this. Longfellow's Indian heroine, whose name means laughing water. Gary. What is Hiawatha? No, sorry. Harvey or Eric? Harvey. Who's Minnehaha? That's it, yes, heroine. Fictional characters for 200. Answer. Margaret Mitchell originally called this character Pansy. Who is Scarlett O'Hara? Yeah. Harvey, select. Fictional characters for 300. The grandmother of this Hans Christian Andersen heroine wore a dozen oysters on her tail. The heroine was the Little Mermaid. We're not doing too well so far no, with fictional not. characters. Harvey, do you want to stay with it? Yes, I do. Fictional oh. characters for 400. Answer. Rebecca Randall is better known by the title of this Kate Douglas Wiggin children's book. 
who is Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Oh, it was too obvious. Too obvious. Too Harvey, obvious. go Fictional for the Fictional characters objects. for 500. The answer is, in A Midsummer Night's Dream, this was Tom Snout's occupation, though you may not give a damn. Gary. What is a tinker? Tinker is good for $500. Yeah. All right, we've got a correct response. Where to now? Roman Empire for 200 Built by the Romans in the second century, one of these still brings water to Segovia, Spain. Gary. What is an aqueduct? That's it, and we've got less than a minute to go. Roman Empire for 300 By the fourth century AD, Rome had 28 public ones stacked with rolls of papyrus. Gary again. What are public uh, toilets? No. <laughs> Sorry. Harvey? What are libraries? Libraries, yes. <laughs> I kind of like uh, Gary's line for humor, though. You might remember that, Harvey, when you're writing. Select again. Uh, Roman Empire for 400. The answer is, when visiting one, a citizen might pass through the Frigidarium, the Tepidaria, and the Caladarium. When visiting a public bath. Harvey, go again. Have a cigar for 300. Have a cigar for three. Hawking Muriel cigars in the 1960s, she said, why don't you pick one up and smoke it sometime? Harvey. Who is Edie Adams? That is it, yes. Roman Empire for 500. The last clue is an audio daily double. We're running out of time in this round. Gary's leading by $1,000 at the moment. Harvey, how much do you want to risk on Roman Empire? 400 For $400, here is the clue. A 1962 Broadway hit featuring the following was based on the comedies of this Roman playwright. Something familiar, something peculiar, something for everyone, a comedy tonight. Something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone, Harvey? a comedy Who's Sophocles? Tonight. No, sorry. A funny thing happened on the way I to know the that. forum was based on the works of Plautus. Plautus. Okay, that takes you to $1,000, and it takes us to the end of the Jeopardy round. And uh, we had just two more clues to get to. So you guys are moving very quickly through the material. We'll find out if you can keep it up in double jeopardy. We'll be ready to begin that important round right after this. No other taste attracts so much attention. Diatepsy, you gotta be the most refreshingest invention. Attracts so much attention. <laughs> Northern bathroom tissue has a special kind of softness because it's quilted. And you can feel the difference quilting makes. Northern, quilted for a special kind of softness. Win Dixie says, Yum, yum. Holidays, here we come. Here we come. Yum, yum. Gobble, gobble, more, more. Happy, happy, thanks, Thanksgiving. Top off your favorite salads with Kraft Miracle Whip. Win Dixie priced at just $1.39. Make any meal special with Pinky Pig Pork. A fresh old pork loin is now $1.19 a pound. And harvest fresh russet potatoes are $1.99 for 20 pounds. Happy Thanksgiving from Win Dixie. Holidays, here we come, young. CJ's Manufacturing Jewelers is celebrating their first anniversary, Friday and Saturday, November 14th and 15th. See demonstrations of how CJ's makes your dreams come to life in jewelry. A gem dealer's show with loose gems for sale. Register for a free custom-designed piece of jewelry. Winner to be drawn Saturday. Come celebrate and watch the magic, Friday and Saturday, November 14th and 15th, at CJ's Manufacturing Jewelers in Grothway Square, Belton. All right, we're ready for the double jeopardy round. Two daily doubles in this one to assist our contestants. First of all, the dollar figures into the screens. And now we'll show everyone what the categories are. Left-hand side of the board, famous firsts. Next to that, we have islands, followed by actors and roles, 20th century, universities, and finally, trains. Eric, this time the choice is yours because you're in third place. 20th century, 200. Top of the category, 
This city's Storyville district, famed for jazz and vice, was closed in 1917 at the Navy's insistence. Harvey. What is New Orleans? You are right. Uh, 20th century for 400. Moving down one. There was talk in 1986 about repealing this amendment, ratified February 26, 1951. Gary. What is the 22nd amendment? You're right. Um, islands for 200, please. Starting it off with this. While Hawaii is our only island state, Tasmania is this country's only island state. Eric. What is New Zealand? No, sorry. Gary. What is Australia? Correct. Islands for 400. Answer. By the year 1000, at least 25,000 Scandinavians had settled on this North Atlantic island. Eric? What is Iceland? Right. Uh, 20th century 600? Middle of that column. It's where the USS Missouri was parked September 2nd, 1945. Gary? What is in uh, Tokyo Harbor? Tokyo Harbor, that's it. Uh, actors in their roles for 200, please. The answer is... In 1967, Telly Savalas, Jim Brown, and Charles Bronson were three of these 12. Gary. What are the dirty dozen? Yes. Actors in their roles for 400. Though as Gonzo Gates, he acted for everyone, his most memorable TV movie role was for ladies only. Harvey? Who's Gregory Harrison? You are correct. Select. Uh, universities for 200. Starting it off with this. At New York City's Yeshiva University, the general curriculum is taught in both English and this language. Harvey. What is Hebrew? Right. Universities for 400. At most universities, the number of foreign languages required for a PhD. Eric. What is two? Yes. University 600. The Morrill Act of 1862 provided land grants to support colleges that emphasized these A&M fields. Harvey. What are agriculture and manufacturing? No, sorry. Gary. What are agriculture and mining? No, that is incorrect also. Eric, you want to try it? I'll give it to you then. What are agriculture and mechanical arts? Back to Eric for the next selection. University's 800? The answer is... A Daily Double. <laughs> Eric, here's a great opportunity for you to get right back into the thick of this match. You've got 700, but you can risk up to 1,000. 600. For $600, in the category universities, here is the clue. In lists in the World Book and World Almanac, the only accredited colleges which begin with X share this name. What is Xavier? That's it. In Cincinnati and the University of Louisiana, or Xavier University in Louisiana at New Orleans. Eric, select again. University's 1,000. The answer. Site of a top hotel management school, this Ivy League university owns its own hotel. Harvey. What is Cornell? That's good for $1,000, and you get control of the board. Where Actors in their roles for 600, please. Quo Vadis Star. L.B. Mayer said, her name rhymes with star. The name that rhymes with star is Deborah Carr. Harvey, select. Actors in their roles for 800. Her roles have included Trixie Delight, Lily von Stupp, and Empress Nympho. Harvey? Who's Madeline Kahn? Correct. Actors in their roles for 1,000. They played twins in the last remake of Beau Geste. Gary? Who are the Bridges brothers? No, sorry. Harvey or Eric? Who are Michael York and Marty Feldman? Back to Harvey for the choice. Uh, famous first for 200. The answer is, their first million selling record was Satisfaction, which in fact sold four and a half million. Harvey? Who are the Rolling Stones? Yes. Famous first for 400. In 1944, on the first radio broadcast of this show, Tommy Bernard played David, and Ricky Blair played Ricky. Gary. What was the Ozzie and Harriet show? Yes. Islands for 600. Islands for six. Massachusetts Island, whose county and county seat share its name. Gary. What is Nantucket? Right. Islands for 800. It's the largest city on Canada's Vancouver Island. Eric. What is Victoria? Right. Islands 1,000. Italy became a single country when the kingdom named for this island annexed its various parts. The kingdom was Sardinia. Eric, we go back to you. 20th century 800. The answer there. Our patience exhausted. The U.S. severed diplomatic relations with this country April 7th, 1980. Eric. What is Iran? Yes. 20th century 1000. Answer. Three U.S. presidents attended this politician's Texas funeral November 18th, 1961. Eric. Who are Eisenhower, Hoover, and Kennedy? A 
I'm sorry, that's wrong. Gary, who was Eisenhower? Sorry, that is wrong. Harvey, do you want to try it? I Eric misunderstood it. the question, I believe, or the clue. <sighs> we were going for the man whose funeral it was, and it was Mr. Sam Rayburn. We go back to you, Eric, for the choice. Famous first 600. The answer there is this. December 31st, 1981 was the first time the ball of lights ushering in the new year over New York City's Times Square was in this shape. Eric. What is an apple? Yes, select. Famous first 800. The answer is a daily double. We've got less than a minute to go, Eric. You're in second place with 2,500. How much do you want to risk? 500. $500 in the category famous first. Here is the clue. In 1896, Thomas Sperry and Shelley Hutchinson started the first independent company to provide these. Uh, what are pharmaceutical drugs? Oh, no, if you had thought of their initials. S and H, trading stamps. You're down to 2,000. You retain control of the board. Where do we go? First for 1,000. The clue is first and only president listed by the book of lists as having smoked marijuana in the White House. The man to whom we refer is John F. Kennedy. Eric, select again. We won't get a chance for that last column. For some reason, the fellows stayed away from trains. Let's see what we've got. Harvey's in the lead with 3,200. Gary, 22. Eric at 2,000. I remind you that the winner of this game qualifies automatically for the semifinals. But in addition, this week, the four highest scores among the non-winners move into the semifinals, too. Here is the category for final jeopardy that you'll have to consider in deciding how much to wager. Business and industry. Think about that, gentlemen, for the next couple of minutes. We'll pause for these messages and return with the clue in just a little bit. Hello, soft skin. Bye, bye, dry. Hello, smooth skin. Bye, bye, dry. Time to say bye, bye. To the soaps that dry. Say hello to Formula Tone. New Formula Tone beats the leading beauty soap for leaving your skin feeling soft and smooth. And now that Tone has even more moisturizing cocoa butter, no wonder women prefer it. Time to say bye-bye to those socks that dry. Hello, soft. Hello, smooth. Hello, Tone. Roast beef for Dad's sandwich. Tell him we only have chicken. Chicken's fine on whole meat. Tell him we only have rye. OK, rye is fine. But don't forget the Miracle Whip. We're out of Miracle Whip. Uh-oh. A sandwich just isn't a sandwich without the tangy zip of Miracle Whip salad dressing. The bread spread. No Miracle Whip. You tell them. While they're competing in the tournament, some of our contestants are enjoying a three-night stay at the beautiful Sheraton Premier Hotel atop the Hollywood Hills in Universal City, California. Molly's Ample Fashion Buyers have just returned from the New York and Dallas fashion apparel markets, and the racks at Molly's are bursting with hot fall and holiday dresses, blouses, sweaters, pants, skirts, and many other fashion items. Drop by and see all the new selections now in stock, and all in budget to moderate prices. Use Molly's free layaway, never any service charge. Molly's Ample Fashions, in the Southgate and Eastgate Centers, Waco, open till 6 p.m. daily. in America, the all-new 87 Plymouth Sundance, the unbelievable American car with 47 features standard, and the incredibly exciting Chrysler LeBaron GTS. Specially equipped, it's hundreds less than Buick Skylark. The pride is back, born in America, again. See your Central Texas Chrysler Plymouth dealer. about everything, but I found a way to please them all. Hershey's Miniatures. Hershey's Miniatures. Lots of individual candy bars for lots of individuals. Four different chocolate tastes all in one bag. Hershey's Miniatures. Okay, what kind of candy do you want? Yeah. Good, I've got that. Welcome back to Final Jeopardy. Our contestants have made their wagers. When I give them the answer, they'll have 30 seconds in which to write down the question. Just be sure it is in that form, fellas. The category is business and industry. Here is today's Final Jeopardy clue. This company's figures show about 7% of the present U.S. workforce got its start 
working for them. Good luck. Close game. We're going to start with you, Eric. You were in third place at $2,000. Did you come up with the right response? What is McDonald's, home of the Golden Arches? You're absolutely right. According to their figures, one out of every 15 in the workforce got it their start. How much did you risk? $1,900. That takes you to $3,900. We move down to this end. Gary Giardina had $2,200 in second place. Did he get the right response? What is McDonald's? He did indeed. How much did you risk? $2,200, doubling your score to $4,400. Now we go to Harvey Becker, who was leading with 3,200. What did Harvey put down? What is AT&T? That is incorrect. How much are you going to lose? 1,300. That will leave you with 19. And that means that, once again, a five-time champion triumphs. Gary Giardina is the winner and our fourth semifinalist for the Tournament of Champions. And, Eric, you may still be in the thick of it. We'll find out after tomorrow's program. And speaking of that, join us then, won't you, for an ex another exciting match right here. Quarterfinal game on... Jeopardy! Tournament of Champions. So long, everyone. Today's second and third place contestants will receive Enjoy the delicately seasoned taste of Lipton Long Grain and Wild Rice like chicken stock and herbs, one of four delicious varieties of Lipton Long Grain and Wild Rice. Natural Wonder Soft Bonnet Hair Dryer, four control settings, large adjustable bonnet, slim carrying case from Daisy. Junior Mints, the bite size mint with a big size taste, perfect as a refreshing snack or holiday treat. Junior Mints from Nabisco. Bago, the fast, fun, fantastic word game from Parker Brothers. Bago. No baking, great tasting, delicious royal no-bake cheesecake only takes 15 minutes to prepare. The original Kobe's all-natural shoestring potatoes. Crisp, crunchy, delicious Kobe shoestring potatoes from S&W. Today's active woman chooses today's girl pantyhose for silky sheerness, comfortable fit, and sensational new colors. Choose from a variety of today's girl styles and colors at your favorite department store. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. Jeopardy! is produced by Murr Griffin Enterprises and is distributed by King World. This week, H-E-B treats you to a harvest of values with fall savings in every department. Like delicious Washington red apples, extra fancy, large size, just three pounds for a dollar. And tasty boneless round steak, full cut USDA choice steakhouse beef, only $1.47 a pound. Also the jumbo roll of spillmate towels, just 49 cents each. Valvoline motor oil, 30 weight quart size, just 59 cents each. Check out all the exciting fall specials this week during H-E-B's harvest of values. Another reason why you get what you want for less at H-E-B. No other taste attracts so much attention. Diet Pepsi. You gotta be the most refreshing invention. See that smile, see that look. Diet Pepsi is all it took. No other taste attracts so much attention. Randy Williams is with us tonight, the amazing Randy, James Randy. He's going to talk, one of the things he's going to talk about tonight, 
How many of you follow numerology? You know. Not a lot. What? Not a lot. Not a lot, no. Anyway, he's going to talk about numerology tonight right. and a few other things. How about astrology? How many of you follow that? Okay. Anyway, we have, along with amazing Randy, uh, Matt. Did I pronounce his name right? Plendel. Plendel. I, th I think I said Plendel, didn't I? Oh, Plendel it is, I think. Plendel it is? Plendel. Okay. <laughs> the laugh from the, uh, the West. They're eating the rest of the hors d'oeuvres back there. <laughs> anyway, we handed out some cards. If you wish to acknowledge your, your presence here, fine. If you don't, we understand that sometimes people show up here and they're supposed to be somewhere else. <laughs> right. I'm going to see a show, Mildred. And you know, that camera comes around and you're mm. sitting with... All right. Karen... I can't read the last name. Karen, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Says I... Excuse me? Dennehy. Dennehy. An Irish name, right? Dennehy. You're Irish, right? Yes, very much so. This has to do with you. I've seen Ed at Jason's. Jason's restaurant, right? But I've never seen you. Why? Can't you afford it? <laughs> <laughs> I was... You probably didn't recognize me, uh, Karen. I was the one with the red jacket. <laughs> brought you the dinner roll. I, <laughs> Work edge table. I go, I go go there occasionally. Occasionally, sure. Yeah, I suppose you have a regular table there. Yes. What do you mean? With your name or something? No, no, no. It's just a table I always get when I go there. Oh, do you? Have Where W.C. Fields used to sit. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You tip heavily for something like yes, that? Yes, I do. I see. <laughs> Charles, I can't. Tra Travis or Travin? From Toka, Georgia. Where's Toka, Georgia? What's your. What's your advice for a guy who's been married for 10 years? <laughs> I would go over to Kmart and uh, start pricing a hot plate. You've been married 10 years, that's a long time. Just, just hang in there and yeah. go for 20. Ma Mary, is it strange? Is that right, Mary? Excuse me? What, what type of... I've never had this question in my life. What type of sheets do you best like sleeping in? I've never, never thought of that. Never that question. The ones that come with a, uh, a contoured woman. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about sheets, do you? Oh, no. I don't know, just sheets, I guess. Are there different kinds of sheets? Yeah. Like, what do you, you talk about? No, I'll tell you one... Uh, uh, let me tell you what I did once. I sent away for that ad that has run for 50 years in the back of the men's magazines, the silk... Sh remember the black satin yeah, sheets? Yeah. You ever see that ad? Yeah. Shows a pretty girl. Yeah. Black satin sheets. Does that sound great? Sounds wonderful. Don't send away for them. <laughs> you cannot stay in bed. <laughs> You're slipping you, out. You slide yeah, I... like... Anybody buy those? Right. Come on. Yeah. The top sheet never stays on. Right. If you get in quick, you just plane right in. <laughs> it's like, hydro, like hydroplaning on water when you hit your brakes. And I hit my brakes frequently when I'm in bed. <laughs> e El Elaine from New Jersey? Yeah. Hi, Elaine. Hi. Says, what is your waist size? I, w I think it's about the, probably the square root of yours. <laughs> I'm th I have a waist of 32. Very good. Jerry Brown, not Jerry Brown, that's not our ex-gov, Jerry Bowers. Where are you, Jerry? Up here. Well, this is, what's it like to be LA's, well, it's number one attraction, I don't think I'm number one attraction. What would you think? Disneyland would be the number one attraction? Yes. You, sir. After you. No, 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 no. No, I'm hardly that. What is your, Elena Gill? From Alta Loma. All right. Wasn't there a band called... That was the Castle Loma Orchestra, wasn't it? Castle Loma. It wasn't Glenn Gray and the Alta Loma no. Orchestra. It was, how many of you remember Glenn Gray and the Cal Castle Loma Orchestra? <laughs> no name jive. Right. Great. Right. Two sides. Why am I talking to myself? <laughs> what is your biggest sexual fantasy? 
Um, that's a little yeah. personal, but it involves a forklift truck. <laughs> and, and the Lennon sisters. Yeah. It's very weird. But, uh, but I, I think it more or less speaks for itself. <laughs> Flo Gerasel? Geraci. Geraci, I'm sorry, Flo. Was that you, Flo? <laughs> How's it going, Flo? No, come on. <laughs> Obviously, sir, you are with Flo? That's correct. Excuse me? That's right, I'm with her. Okay, well, where's, where's Flo? <laughs> it says Flo, where are you, Flo? Up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have time to meet us for a quick drink after the show? Sure. Always a quick drink. Are you having dinner with another talk show host or something? <laughs> I get the drink. Well, that's very nice of you. I... We are from Montana, says Avis. Oh, come on, somebody's making up a funny joke name here. Avis Hertz. <laughs> right, right. And I went for it. I said, yeah. where's Avis Hertz? <laughs> Somebody wrote this, though. Where's the person with a funny sense of humor? We are from Montana. Have you lived in 40 degrees below zero? That's about what it is right now in Montana, right? With a wind chill factor? No, I'm from Nebraska, and it would get, it would get well below freezing. But 40 below zero? I can't even imagine what that's like. You don't stay outside long, do you? At 40 below, if you spit... It freezes. It freezes, they say, before you hit the ground. Or if you do anything, it freezes before. <laughs> Weird scene. Uh, Estelle Bernstein. Okay. Excuse me, Estelle? Hi. Hi. Well, you're right, uh, right there. Okay. Why did you move your show from New York to California when you could have moved to Fanwood, New Jersey? <laughs> I think we thought if we moved to Fanwood, the staff would burn itself out. <laughs> you know, I mean, the wild pace in Fanwood. Uh... <laughs> where's, where's Fanwood? Is that close to? Uh, Fanwood is right near, right near um, Massachusetts. Ah. <laughs> that pinpoints it. <laughs> Narrows it down in case you're that way. <laughs> What? You couldn't yeah, put this. Small. You put it in the studio in there. Oh, really? How big is Fanwood? How big is Fanwood? No, I ask you. <laughs> One square mile? One square mile? That's not a particularly large village, is it? <laughs> Judy Avery. Yes. Where is Judy? Right here. Would you please call my boss in Houston and request that I stay in Los Angeles for another week on business, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point, ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Judy, your boss called early and said you'd been canned. <laughs> we could do that. I don't think you'd buy that. I don't think we got. Why don't you show the audience more often? After that, I'm really almost, I almost have to do it now, right? No. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Good. Okay. There you are. Okay. Okay. There you are. And we'll be back in a moment. Good looking good. Shrimp, fish, or chicken, eh? Oh, ah, shrimp, fish, or chicken. Yes, I, too, have faced that dilemma. My advice? Combination meals. Well, thanks, but Yes, sir. Honest. Long John's combines our favorites and now features the ultimate shrimp, fish, and chicken dinner at one great price. So stand tall and order with confidence. I already did. Long John Silver's. <laughs> 
Any suggestions? Ah. Sounds good to me. In the bathtub, you see you. Me, sitting in the bath with the TV Guide, and usually it's fine unless I drop it. If you don't read TV Guide this week, you might be missing something. Folks, it's not a game show. There are no prizes. <laughs> Just nice to Wild have you here. And woolly. How many of Bruce Springsteen fans do we have in the audience? <laughs> He's quite a remarkable artist, mm -hmm. and he pulled off something this week that I guess is probably the, uh, the biggest news in the recording business. I can't remember the last time this was done. Uh, he put out, uh, what is it, four, a five-set? Five-set album. Five-set album spanning the last 10 years and containing 40 songs. And if you were in New York or Los Angeles in front of the record store, you could not get in the other when it opened. They were lined up all over the thing. It went, they sold something like a million and a half albums the first day. Mm. And they're, they're ordering thousands more. But with all of that press coverage, something was kind of overlooked. Really? And we want to uh, kind of, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, all, not all of that acclaim was for the boss. There was another album release that got no attention at all, was issued Monday, but because the Springsteen album came out the same, same day, nobody heard about this. So we thought, we'd like to take this opportunity tonight to tell you about it. How nice. Yes. <laughs> yes, friends, I'm talking about the musical event of the decade, a six-record box set, Newsom. <laughs> That's right, friends. You'll hear the Tonight Show's assistant band leader, Tommy Newsom, the Prince of Polyester, <laughs> as he performs your all-time, yes, as he performs your all-time pop favorites, such as Strike Up the Bland, <laughs> Hello Young Dullards, The Night They Invented Shampoo, I'm in the Mood for Luncheon Meat, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, I Thought Your Hamster Was Mooning Me. By the time I get the phenomits, and I've grown accustomed to your facial hair. That's right, man. So break out those old bell bottoms and groove with Newsom on his magical mystery tour through the age of Aquarius as you relive the psychedelic 60s with this LP, A Brown Sock at Woodstock. <laughs> Including, if I had a hammer, I'd open a Tom McCann penny loafer repair shop. Abraham, Martin, and Mr. Rogers. And me and Bobby McGee split a McDLT. <laughs> now, as you know, friends, the Beatles had their classic white album. Newsom has his own classic, the Brown album. <laughs> That's right. With these immortal standards, Brown Bayou, Brown Velvet, Brown Sails in the Sunset, Rhapsody in Brown, St. Louis Brown, that old brown magic. It's not easy being brown. Brown roses for a brown lady, Brown sleeves, when the brown of the night meets the brown of the day, and the classic Christmas hit, Rudolph, the brown nose reindeer. <laughs> That's right, friends. Our friends. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, singles, Newsom knows lonely. He's been there. In fact, he lives there, and this album proves it. Newsom, salute to celibacy. <laughs> Yes, you'll hear T for one. 50 ways to leave your apartment. Tonight, the lights went out in my refrigerator. What is this thing called jello? And I'm just wild about the hair in my shower drain. Now, friends, do you like heavy metal? Newsom's recorded in his own version. He calls it heavy plastic. LP is made entirely out of Tupperware. That's right. When you're done playing it, 
you store leftover tuna in it. <laughs> and folks, finally you'll swear you're listening to the boss when you hear Newsom's hard-driving salute to the working class born in the A&P. <laughs> That's right, featuring working on a chain gang, working on a chain letter, coal miner's accountant, come on baby, light my welder's torch, and tie a yellow ribbon around the shop steward's thigh. That's right, friends, that's Newsom, probably live on Comatose Records. <laughs> Available in record stores and wherever processed cheese is sold. Order yours now. Okay, here's a message from Lucas Sweet Brand Sweetener. For those times when you want something sweet. Wouldn't you just like them to be cleaner? Well, say hello to cleaner days with new Stay Free Silhouettes. Fitted maxi pads with this new Stay Clean surface. Fluid passes through and gets buried within the pad. The surface stays cleaner, so you feel cleaner, fresher. Brilliant, huh? Maxi days are cleaner days with new Stay Free Silhouettes. Maxi pads and thin maxi pads. Smile. The easy does it better for pictures Drop the film in. It almost loads itself. Then aim and shoot. Have you ever seen a sharper baby picture? I have. Whichever one you want to choose, we've got the 35 for you. Kodak VR 35. It's a great shot. Nothing to it. <laughs> we asked a thousand doctors if stranded on an island, which would they want? Tylenol, extra strength Tylenol, Advil, or Bayer? More doctors chose Bayer. Nearly two to one over extra strength Tylenol. Bayer. The wonder drug that works wonders. No battery outruns the Energizer. I come from a generation that used drugs. I understand the pressure, the pressure to be liked, to be included, to be accepted. The price you pay for acceptance by choosing to take drugs is addiction. The drugs available today have been designed for addiction. They've been produced to force you into lifelong drug use, thus financial destruction and early death. If you still have the choice, give yourself and your future a chance. Stop the madness. Minds the one big enchilada. A desperate treasure hunt pits Simon against Simon. Sounds like a bad spaghetti western. Well, the nighttime soap voted number one by TV Guide and Soap Opera Digest is now back where it belongs. Knott's Landing, back at 10, 9 Central and Mountain, Thursday on CBS. It takes all kinds to create a nation, some more controversial than others. Sam Houston. In history, we we'll want to know who I killed tonight. To some, he was a disgrace. To the president, an embarrassment. But to one state, Texas, he was a hero. Remember the Alamo? Fire! Sam Elliott is Houston, the legend of Texas, Saturday on CBS. This is CBS. They lead lives of incredible stress. <laughs> They're Austin's paramedics. They're among the best in the nation. But why do they do it? We tell them we're the pain store, okay? Bruce Gordon takes to the streets with a paramedic team to see what their lives are really like. You're doing real good. What do you want, a boy or a girl? Watch First Response, a special report. Monday at 10, only on Channel 7 News. People come in my store, I look for good, fresh produce like it's from the garden. You can feel that by just the touch. I make sure, I personally make sure that it's good. People like M.C. Smith make sure you get what you want at H.E.B. 
Some smooth sailing in the weather department. Your forecast after Fresno. Monday. How about a theme where people have to bring us presents? It's party time on Newhart. Oops, Ixnay on the Artie Pack. Then, meet Julia's son. That's my boy. He has designs on an older woman. Hey, darling, why don't you take the bags up to our room? Over my dead body. Then, Ow! Cagney and Lacey uncover. Just your ordinary, everyday pornographers. Which leads to murder. I didn't do it. Yeah. Monday. This man has murdered guilty 17 innocent children. And this man is about to set him free. I just don't like it. Now when the hell did you ever hear me say that I liked it? Peter Strauss must choose between outrage and justice. Who does the law protect? Penalty phase, Tuesday on CBS. Good evening, I'm David Swafford. And I'm Betty Cross. These are the Guardian Angels. Thirteen Austinites were sworn in today as the city's first civilian law enforcement officers. The Angels will patrol the streets of the city starting tomorrow. Their volunteers out to help police cut down on crime. In London, Americans once held captive in Lebanon are meeting. The Archbishop of Canterbury has called them together to work on ways of freeing the remaining hostages. Reverend Lawrence Jenko was the first to arrive. He's being joined by Benjamin Weir and David Jacobson. There's a strike brewing in the Philippines. The labor union there has called the walk-off in retaliation for the murder of a union leader. The victim's funeral and the strike are both scheduled for tomorrow. And 23 people aboard a TWA jet today got a scare when the plane's landing gear collapsed as it hit the ground. The aircraft skidded to a smoky stop in Norfolk, Virginia. Only one person was injured. Sports-wise, the Oilers got into some trouble at Three River Stadium while the Cowboys struggled for a win in San Diego. Ken Nicholson will have highlights tonight right after Fresno. Of course, Larry will be here with our weekday forecast. And Larry, how are things shaping up? Well, after that blast out of the Arctic uh, last week, we'll expect to see some milder weather for this week at least, so I think it'll be a pleasant change. Here's what we're seeing uh, as far as temperatures were concerned today. 58 for the low, up to a high of 80 uh, earlier this afternoon. And right now we're at 73. Our forecast will call for partly cloudy and warm, a high temperature of 82 for tomorrow. And the extended forecast will call for no big changes. Low temperatures in the 60s and highs near 80. All right. Sounds good. Thanks very much, Larry. Of course, we'll have all the news, weather, and sports for you right here on Channel 7 after Fresno. Join us then. Get set to rock out with Janet Jackson, Al Jarreau, Peter Cetera, and Amy Grant on Solid Gold 87. Solid Gold, tonight at 1030 on Channel 7. It's Koppenheimer, home of the twofer. All suits, sport coats, slacks, and shirts are twofer priced at Koppenheimer's super twofer sale. When it's time for dinner, but you've got something better to do than go out to eat, call Jack and tell him to hit the road. Introducing Jack in the Box Restaurant's home delivery. Just call 474-JACK and get your favorite food delivered nice and hot and quick right to your door. You suppose next time he could knock? Entertaining is one of my favorite kinds of holiday giving. But this season, the office party won't be the only one I give. Thanks to Mervyn's, where this week, Holly Porcelain is one-third off. And so are fun-looking and traditional placemats. Mervyn's also has festive tablecloths, even aprons, potholders, and other accessories. All one-third off this week. I can't wait to have my very own holiday party without needing an office party budget. Join the Channel 7 News Weekend Report. Wednesday on CBS. Somebody just tried to kill us. Is this a murder Magnum wrote? There's real help on the way. Does this big mainland investigator have a name? J.B. Fletcher. I'm sure that normally you're very good at what you do. Angela Lansbury guests on a very special episode. Things are beginning to get serious. Magnum. Then, the equalizer's framed for the shooting of a blind man. Who wants you this bad? My life is on the line here. I haven't been on the run for years. 
Friday. Double agents change sides all the time. Scarecrow and Mrs. King. All right, come on, I got a plan. Very much in love. Amanda, get out! And very much... It got us boxed in! ...in danger. Then, on Dallas, a wife's anguish. I wish that baby didn't exist. I wish Jenna didn't exist. I can't turn my back on it, honey. A family's trauma. I'm Jock Ewing. And on Falcon Crest, a crisis of love. I can't go through this alone, Chase. A contest of wills. I know you're up to something. Now you have to tell me. I know what I'm doing. Friday. This is CBS. Good evening. I'm David Swafford. In the news, the Guardian Angels hit Austin streets tomorrow. Today, 13 men and women graduated from Angel Training. The Guardian Angels are volunteer law enforcers not sanctioned by the city. Also tomorrow, former American hostages will meet in London with the Archbishop of Canterbury. They'll work on a way to free the remaining hostages. We'll have all the news for you right here on Channel 7 after Fresno. Join us. My house has a pool this big. My house has a TV in every room. My house is a gym crash. Wow. Get set to rock out with Janet Jackson, Al Jarreau, Peter Cetera, and Amy Grant on Solid Gold 87. Solid Gold, tonight at 1030 on Channel 7. Tonight, why not treat yourself to a real bargain? Mr. Gaddy's Weeknight Buffet is a real deal, real fast. All the fresh hot pizza you can eat, all the spaghetti, all the lasagna, and all the choices from our Garden Fresh Salad Bar, all for just $4.29. So what are you waiting for? Mr. Gaddy's, the best pizza in town. Real cheese, real hot, real fresh, real fast. Join David Swafford and Betty Cross for the Channel 7 News Weekend Report. Yes, I, I'm calling long distance for Bobby Joe Bob. 8, Central and Mountain. The Philippines, 1942. All U.S. nurses ordered evacuated. A dedicated few refused to leave. Somebody has to stay with the wounded. Over 100 women became prisoners of war, many suffering unspeakable abuse. Hit me! Do it or he'll kill us both! Through the blackest moments of despair, courage and hope kept them united. Susan Sarandon, Christy McNichol, the untold story of real American heroes, women of valor, next Sunday. Rumor has it. On Guiding Light. Joshua Lewis is back. Maybe others after. Chased by rumors of danger. On Guiding Light. I'm Charlie Rose. The latest from comedian Lily Tomlin and The Last Chance Tax Guide, a special five-part series starting tomorrow on the CBS Morning News. This is CBS. Coming up on Channel 7 News, the city could be a little safer tomorrow. The Guardian Angels are going on patrol for the first time. Blue bonnets that aren't blue, the Aggies are experimenting to come up with maroon ones. The Cowboys cut it awfully close today, and the weather's going to stay warm. All the news, weather, and sports up next. Introducing a spectacular new ice cream dessert called Vianetta. But despite its deliciously rich ice cream, its irresistible, crisp, chocolatey layers, Vianetta could leave you with one small problem. Vianetta from Good Humor. One slice is never enough. Will you turn the light on? He's out of town. You can't go wrong with the rider. Cause when it says a rider, it's all rider. <laughs> Austin's News Channel. This is the Channel 7 News Weekend Report. With anchors David Swafford and Betty Cross, Larry Dingmore with weather, and David Walker on sports. 
Good evening. Topping our news, guardian angels are hitting the streets of Austin. 13 Austinites graduated today from the Angels' three-month training program. Charlotte's seduction succeed? Will Kane Kensington save his raisins? Or will Tyler Kane become the raisin baron of Fresno tonight? This is CBS. There's nothing quite like waking up to a country breakfast. Everything's so fresh with farm eggs and biscuits hot from the oven. But the best part's the taste of fresh Owens country sausage. My family's always used the finest meats and natural spices. Then we deliver it fresh, never frozen, right to your store, so you can't get sausage any fresher than Owen's, even if you join me for breakfast. Owen's sausage is farm fresh, day after day, bite after bite. When you shift gears, you make more efficient use of energy. Same with the Lennox PowerMinder heat pump. Take it from Dave Lennox. The PowerMinder's two-speed system saves energy and money. From Lennox, the efficiency experts. Hello, Warden County. Meet Tom and Gail Faust, your Lennox dealer. For quality service and high efficiency equipment, give us a call. With an outstanding reputation, my friend Chuck Gilbert heads up a growing business. Just like Dave, I can cut your energy bills almost in half. This is KHOU TV, Houston. And now, 11 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Felicia Jeter. I'm Steve Smith, a five month old. gas. All us great cooks cook with natural gas because it heats up fast and is by far the most efficient. Know what I mean? Okay, Vern, you better get ready because here it comes. Pancake Zone Parade. Know what I mean? It's the new point one. Yes, sir. You can't miss it. Oh, sorry, this one's mine. I knew it. Uh, uh, no, I believe that a luxury car isn't a luxury car if it looks like something else. Uh-oh, not mine. The Lincoln Town Car, sir. Yeah. There's nothing like a Lincoln Town Car. Its luxury is unmistakable. It stands alone in styling and prestige. This year, as always, the Town Car is distinctively Lincoln, what a luxury car should be. You wouldn't listen. Toss it, toss it. McDonald's introduces a new taste with turkey and ham. New McDonald's chef salad. Toss me a salad with turkey and ham. New McDonald's chef salad. Toss it for me fresh all day. This meal goes any place. It's a good time for the great taste. Oh, McDonald's. The state's recent 5% budget cut in education is causing more problems for the Calcasieu school system. Officials say in certain cases, the state has ordered them to have programs, but has not provided adequate funding. Charles Washam has the story. The Calcasieu school system is mandated to offer kindergarten programs. However, budget cuts make that a difficult task. Meantime, the state's stiffer requirements in science and math for high school graduation have created the need for additional staff and materials. Budget cuts also affect that. Other state requirements come under special education programs, like those at Vinton Elementary School. Vinton has not been affected yet, but some other special ed classes have had to increase their class sizes to less than ideal situations. With the larger class numbers, uh, the teachers have a larger class load and I feel that they have fewer materials. Maintain Special education teachers are being trained to deal with the changes and hope the situation does not get any worse. The teachers are being in service with how to cope with more grouping of uh, their instructions rather than trying to stay with individualized instructions. Officials say they are still able to comply with regulations on how special ed programs are to be structured. 
But if the state approves another 5% budget cut, as feared, the quality of programs could suffer. That could affect the 4,000 special ed students in Calcasieu Parish. An additional 5% state cut could mean salary reductions for employees and a loss of specially trained individuals. Charles Washam, 7 News. The governor has ordered the state superintendent of education to release funds for non-public school lunch programs. Superintendent Tom Clausen had ordered a stop to state salary supplements for cafeteria workers at private schools. That was to make up for budget cuts in public schools. Officials with the Lake Charles Diocese said elimination of the funding could mean kitchens in local Catholic schools would have to close. That won't happen, though, because last Wednesday, Governor Edwards issued an order preventing Clausen from cutting the non-public school funding by more than 10 percent. More than 3,000 children attend Catholic schools in Calcasieu and Jeff Davis parishes. Many athletes take steroids to increase their strength and muscle mass. Entertainment Center, the lacquered cabinet holds all your state-of-the-art audio and video components by Lane. Emerson's compact audio video center with 13-inch color TV, built-in stereo cassette recorder player, AM FM radio, and digital clock, another fine product from Emerson. A total retail value of this entertainment package, $1,190. Ah. A little matter, matter, a little matter of that pin uh, worth over $4,500. For the first two rounds, you have a total of $9,275 in prizes. No need for anyone to despair, though. We're going to put a $5,000 space in the wheel and get to round three in just a minute. Walk away. Doors, the delicious new picante sauce from Old El Paso, with a fresh taste that really freshens up the flavor of all kinds of fun foods. The new all-natural picante sauce from Old El Paso, as natural as the great outdoors. Dear Walgreens, I'm a clinical dietitian. When our hospital ran short of an important dietary supplement, I remembered Walgreens. Because your pharmacies can communicate through their computer network, you located the supplies I needed in a few minutes. Isn't it nice to have the Walgreens pharmacy network nearby? During the Energizer Extra Energy Sale, get two free batteries in the AA bonus pack, $249. One free in the 9-volt bonus pack, $1.99 at Walgreens. When you get a cold or an allergy, you need some herbal tea. You also get a lot of advice. What you want to do is feed a cold. A lot of advice. Take duty to call me in the morning. But the best advice is what doctors have said millions of times. Take Dimatap. Dimatap in non-prescription formulas brings proven relief. So take the advice of doctors and pharmacists. The tea work. Huh? <laughs> and take Dimatap. The best advice you can take. When people ask me what I do as a nurse for Girling Health Care, I tell them about Mrs. Stanton and her recovery. The people at Girling help make moments like this possible. Hey, I have an idea. Let's look at that $5,000 space on the wheel here and head right into our third round, which uh, is Thing. To put a hot tub in your bathtub from Appliance Corporation of America and Joe Van Musk for men and women. We help America stay sexy. And Success Rice, the only boil and bag rice. Cooks in just 10 minutes, no measuring, no mess, perfect every time. Once you've switched to success, nothing else will do. And add a festive touch to every meal with delicious royal gelatin and puddings, great for salads and desserts. Make every day a royal day. And Gitano Sportswear, fashion that fits. Your style will never be the same. Now at a department store near you. The prices of the prizes were furnished to the contestants prior to the show and have been rounded off to the nearest dollar. Gift certificates do not include sales tax. 
Tonight on MASH, a big time war correspondent visits the 4077th and begins to glorify the war effort. But Hawkeye tries to put a stop to it. Join MASH tonight following 11 News at 10. Stay tuned next for part two of Fortune Fresno. Is by Merv Griffin Enterprises, distributed by King World. It's something you have to see to believe, but it's true. Starting now, starting right here, 7-Eleven, slices, prices. American Express, money orders, now just 49 cents every day. You asked for it, we listened. A gallon of Sunnydale homogenized milk, just $2.29 every day. New, lower prices all around the store. 7-Eleven, slices, prices. Sorrow. You mean good soon height? No. What's that mean? I guess I uh, really care about you. Drixoral means that? It's a cold tablet my pharmacist told me about. It worked for me all day long. I thought it would be the best thing for you. Oh, that's really nice. It's you! Drixoral. Thanks. Drixoral. The way to say you care about someone with a cold. There's no better place than Walmart to shop for small appliances. Oh, I agree. You can always find the top brand names. Oh, and always at the lowest prices. Walmart's rolled back the prices on the Presto Hot Air Corn Popper and Presto's Under Cabinet Can Opener. They're now both $12.96 each every day. I'm finding lots of holiday gifts right here in small appliances. Shop Walmart's small appliance department for the best selection at great low prices every day. That's real savings. That's the Walmart way. Mayor Campy Whitmire, Tuesday. If you're expecting Kate Nally. The law protect Peter Strauss in penalty phase, Tuesday. Drugs don't make the pain go away. They only make it worse. Drug addiction is painful for your loved ones and for you. Don't tune out on life. Stop the madness. You don't have a name. J.B. Fletcher. I'm sure that normally you're very good at what you do. This is CBS. Whataburger introduces Whataburgers for just $1.99 each. Now, what else can $1.99 buy your kids these days? A paddle ball without the ball? A half a football? Half a baseball or half a baseball bat? Or how about half a skateboard? So come to Whataburger and get him, our bear of the week. After all, a whole bear is a lot more fun than half a hula hoop. For fashion, I never follow trends. I don't need to live the fancy life, cause I got me a whole lot of friends. Then I grew up understanding what it means to take a stand. I pledge my allegiance to the king of bears, cause I'm a genuine bud man. B -b bud, bud, B -b bud, bud, I'm a bud man. Ticket quotas in Houston, the story at 10. Stone boy behind the headlines. I don't want to lose my leg. You're going to make it, Teddy. The Ted Kennedy Jr. story next Monday. Subaru and 
announces our annual Now You See Them, Now You Don't 86 model closeout sale. Every remaining 86 Subaru is on sale, but they won't last long. <laughs> With customer cash back on every 86 Subaru station wagon. <laughs> and $1,000 cash back on every 86 Subaru XT. Whoa! Because with up to $1,000 cash back, everything is going fast. Barney Garver, David McDavid, Southwest, Archer, Mack Hike. Channel 2, KPRC-TV, Houston. The news starts now. Live from Houston, this is Channel 2 News with Ron Stone, Jan Carson, Doug Johnson, Ron Franklin, and the Channel 2 News Team. A nationwide hunt for the man who kidnapped and murdered... Natural gas furnace, huh? Water heater, too. That's my boy. Gas range, too. These kids really got themselves a good value. For today. And in the future. Get the gas advantage. It's a natural for your home. You'd no more settle for a flake in your hair than a spot on your tie. You, you pass the test to good grooming. Has a look of success. Your head and shoulders above the rest. One flake can mean dandruff. Regular shampoos may rinse flakes, but head and shoulders protection goes to the source to help stop flakes. And that's doing it right. Your head and shoulders above the rest. We are back. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay. If you just joined us, Mr. Jack Parr is here tonight. Elaine DeGeneres, Stephen Lang. What were you doing in New York? I was with the uh, Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra for a few days. Just, and just as a guest, or did you play with them or what? Yes, I, I played. Did a concerto. In Rochester. Did a little conducting and so In forth. Rochester. Yes, and it was very, very cold. It stays cold in Rochester about when? Next June? Something like that? Well, well let's put it this way. Summer is on July 4th. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how many of you remember when you were in school? Uh, and you would do something. You got caught goofing off or something, and the teacher would write it down and say, this will become part of your permanent record. Remember that? That happened to me. Did you ever have visions years later, your boss calling you in and saying, yes. we just looked at your permanent record and you threw, your, you threw a sandwich at Peggy Malkovich in the third grade? <laughs> but teachers did that to kind of control you. They'd say that is part, and you thought forever, this would be part of your permanent record. Well, thanks to the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, you have the right to send away for a copy of your records. Did you know that? Schools usually keep them on microfilm, and they charge a few dollars for the services. And besides your grades, uh, the permanent record uh, has your teacher's comments about the way you behaved in school, intelligence tests, your exams, and so forth. We sent away to obtain the permanent records. <laughs> See, right here, folks. <laughs> says right here, official, permanent records of some well-known people. And we have excerpt, excerpted or excerpted? Excerpted. Excerpted, right. yes. Some comments from the school records from some very famous people. For example, here's one about Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> April 17th, 1951. Teacher says, Geraldo wasn't at school today. When he called his home, he told us he tried to go to school but couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you all know uh, Roger Ebert? Yes. Film critic? All right, here's what they said about Roger. Roger's a bright boy, but I've had problems with him. Yesterday, he gave a scathing critique of my history lesson. Luckily, the Siskel boy stood up and disagreed with him, <laughs> saying my presentation had warmth and humor and a happy ending, and calling Roger a four-eyed bran muffin with legs. <laughs> 
Now, we sent back to Iowa. Well, Ronald Reagan went to a small school in Iowa as a youngster. It says, today Ronald was kept after school for selling spare spitballs to students at a rival school. <laughs> Just reading the official records. Don't hold me accountable for this stuff. <laughs> Muammar Gaddafi. This was not easy to get, but we got it. <laughs> Here's what they said about him. Seventh grade. Muammar is an eager pupil, but he does have a nasty tendency to slice the throats of the cafeteria ladies <laughs> on the days we have lima beans. <laughs> Even then, Don King, that's what they said about Don. Don is an active, outgoing boy that can be disruptive. He spends all his playground time arranging fights between the other boys. <laughs> During his infamous scrimmage in the jimmage the other day, I had to drag him to the principal's office by the hair. <laughs> and I'm worried because it hasn't gone down yet. <laughs> uh, Ted, Ted Turner. Little Teddy gets restless in class. Last week, we had to lock up his crayons when he tried to color a visiting nun. <laughs> That's really an inside joke. <laughs> There's one about our attorney general, our now attorney general, Ed Meese. Miss Thompson, the librarian, caught Eddie committing an act of vandalism. He'd grabbed a book on creation, turned to the picture of Adam and Eve and the fig leaves, and drew Dr. Denton pajamas on them. Meese wasn't even funny when he was in school. <laughs> what about Fidel Castro? Not easy to get these. Right here we have them. Fisher. <laughs> Fidel was caught once again behind the gym smoking a cigar. We feel if he keeps this up, it will stunt his growth and he will become a communist. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Vincent Price. Vincent recently wrote an excellent essay on the circulation of the blood, marred only by the repeated use of the phrase plump, luscious, throbbing neck veins. <laughs> Would you like to know what they said about Bruce Springsteen when he yeah. was in school? All right. Bruce is a conscientious, soft-spoken boy. But if you value your hearing, don't ask him where he was born. <laughs> Fred de Cordova. School records were not available, destroyed in the great fire in Rome. <laughs> Ed, what about it? I wish Ed was here. We could read this. Ed McMahon. Edward only in grade two, but already he has a clear idea of what he wants to achieve in life. Drinking age. <laughs> and somebody... They even sent away for some of my records from the third grade. That'd be about eight years old, right? John was kept after school for carving his girlfriend's initials into his desk. John will need a new desk, as his girlfriend later had her lawyer take possession of it. <laughs> Those are real. Fisher, those are official. Anyway, if you join us, we have uh, Stephen Lang from Crime Story, uh, comedian Elaine DeGeneres. In just a moment, Mr. Jack Parr will join us. So stay where you are. Some plastic wraps seem to have a mind of their own. So get the one that clings where it's supposed to cling. Get Reynolds plastic wrap before yours gets out of hand. Use Reynolds wrap to freeze. Reynolds wrap wraps right. Fights freeze or burn, you're gonna learn how Reynolds wrap can freeze. Takes the cold, takes the heat from casseroles to dinner meat. Use Reynolds wrap to freeze. Chrissy, goodbye, Mr. Braddock. 
Jack, if you want to get ahead in the business world, you got to start treating people nicer. <laughs> I, uh, I, I hope at least this teaches you not to jump to the wrong conclusions. <laughs> me? Jump to the wrong conclusions? Me? Me? Well, at least you admit it. <laughs> See, Jack, it's all because you're such a chauvinist. I mean, automatically you assume Chrissy's boss had to be a man. You also assumed he was a man. Well, what do you want from me? I'm just a woman. <laughs> Oh, Janet, what am I gonna do? Chef Anton's an important man. I, I, I blew my big chance. Oh, Jack, now come on. You're gonna let one little setback ruin your whole life? Come on. Now listen, remember what you said to Chrissy. If you want to get ahead in this world, you gotta believe in yourself. Listen, Jack, just go to Anton and tell him why you did all these silly things. Well, maybe you're right. Sure. And if that doesn't work, Jack, try wearing a low-cut shirt. <laughs> Company was videotaped in front of a studio audience. Now stay tuned for Heart to Heart, coming up next in stereo here on KSAT 12. But there won't last long. <laughs> With customer cash back on every 86 Subaru station wagon. And a thousand dollars cash back on every 86 Subaru XT. Whoa. Because with up to a thousand dollars cash back, everything is going fast. Visit this participating Subaru dealer today. Some things in life just naturally cost more because they're better. For example, pizza. We take the very best quality and freshest ingredients and cook them in our pizza oven until the crust is golden brown and the taste is unequaled. The perfect pizza, normally $10, 11 or $12, but this large six-item special pizza is only... Designing Women. I'm Charlie Rose. Congress begins hearings on U.S.-Iranian relations and new Senate Majority Leader Robert Byrd tomorrow on the CBS Morning News. During this holiday season, Channel 4 and the food banks of Greater Tarrant County and North Texas are working with you to help fight hunger in our state. Beginning November 22nd, you can drop off canned goods at any fire station in Dallas or Fort Worth and share in the spirit of giving. This Saturday, between 1 and 3 p.m., come out and meet Channel 4 News personalities at these three fire stations, the corner of North Haven and Midway, Beltline and Hillcrest in Dallas, and 1000 Calvert Street in Fort Worth. Food for sharing. Together, we can make a difference. The damaged wing of this L-1011 jetliner has prompted the National Transportation Safety Board to call for the immediate inspection of the wide-bodied jets. Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. I'm Steve Bosch. The number one industry in Huntsville, Texas, is warehousing inmates. It is also the last stop for those awaiting execution. Our special team report on a date with death continues tonight at 10 o'clock. DART's Handy Ride program is under fire. Handicapped people who used to rely on yellow cabs are being told to use other cab companies. We'll tell you why tonight at 10. For over 75 years, when folks have wanted great tasting bread, one name has come to mind, Mrs. Baird's. Now we want to tell you about five new breads from Mrs. Baird's. A delicious new buttermilk white and a buttermilk wheat bread. Great tasting new honey and wheat. A cinnamon wheat raisin bread that will melt in your mouth. And Mrs. Baird's new deli rye. Try them all. Each one adds to our good name. Remember the last time you had some warm flannel to hold on to? To protect you from a cold and sometimes scary world? Well, now at Target's White Sale, you'll find enough flannel sheets on sale to pacify your worst insecurities. Twin size sets are just $14.99. King, queen, and full sizes are on sale, too. Warm, soft, 100% cotton flannel sheets. The next best thing to your old blankie. Now on sale at Target. College Bowl bids come out Saturday on Sports Scene at 
KDFW TV, Channel 4, Dallas Fort Worth. High tech, high touch. We give you the best of both at King's Daughters Hospital.